Roger Kirby is one of the lead attorneys in a lawsuit brought against one of the firms, Moody's Corporation. Roger, welcome to the program. Good to have you with us. Now, Thank you. Now we should make the case that you are representing Moody's shareholders who are suing Moody's because of a subsequent decline in the value of Moody's stock because of all of these issues. Well, we do represent people who bought the Moody's stock on, on the belief that Moody's, in fact, was earning money uh, in the way that it claimed to be earning money, namely because of its good reputation and the, and the trustworthiness of its seal of good ratings approval, when, in fact, it does very much appear as if Moody's was exchanging its reputational risk, uh, sorry, reputational capital for uh, uh, the sale of really risky risky assets. And arguably, Moody's was one of the principal gatekeepers to the whole subprime crises because none of these instruments could have been sold without Moody's seal of good approval. But is that different than the reputational risk that any company uh, sort of has to deal with when they're sort of passing muster on any number of either, whether it be financial products or indeed uh, whether it's an insurance company making a, a sort of handing out a policy? Well, there's a, as a general proposition, and it really is a matter of common sense, you cannot give opinions or much less give ratings that people rely upon when it's been done fraudulently or the equivalent, if it's been done in reckless disregard of information you had or you could have had, then, of course, whatever the situation is, you could have had a cause of action against the person who did that, whether you're an individual or whether you're a class of people. What does Moody say? We called Moody's uh, in preparation for this. Uh, they declined uh, to comment uh, on the case and uh, on this segment. Uh, what does uh, Moody's uh, typically respond? Well, Moody's response is not is not raising up raising its hand to say we're guilty. Their response is we have haven't done anything wrong, and as they have in cases brought by CalPERS and people who bought the instruments themselves, Moody says this was mere opinion, and we can't be responsible for the publication or the stamping of mere opinions. But it's long been the law that the First Amendment does not protect fraud, and it's long been the law that if you uh, make a fraudulent statement or a statement in rec reckless disregard of the truth, you're responsible to the people to whom you made that statement. Uh, is there a big difference between, let's say, uh, the shareholders of the common stock of Moody's and those that purchased the subprime mortgage bonds that are at the heart of all this? Because we know that states' attorneys generally Generals have, uh, attorneys general have come out and they are suing Moody's on that very case. Well, you know, there's a huge difference. I mean, the nexus, of course, is that these subprimes were overrated. Uh, the duties are completely different. The duties in our case flow from the fact that uh, the securities laws say you can't misrepresent something important about the way you go about your business. And uh, the damages are measured by how much that misinformation caused the stock to go up and how much this disclosure caused it to go down. People like Cal CalPERS and other entities um, have, a, have damages depending on the diminished value of the instruments that they acquired. What's the status of the case right now? Of our case, we, um, the other side, uh, predictably enough, sought to dismiss the case twice, and the court twice said, no, the case can go forward, it stakes a proper claim and it states a proper cause of action, and we're now in the process of seeking to certify the class and, and begin discovery. All right. I want to thank you very much, Roger Kirby, coming and giving us some insight and some information about uh, a suit being brought against uh, Moody's on behalf of Moody's shareholders. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Appreciate it.